Hi, welcome to Loggerheads Country Park um, in North Wales, UK. I am fortunate that this area is full of limestone and fractures which takes the water away and goes underground into the mines. So I was able to learn to douse from this. If you look at behind me you'll see a sinkhole which the water's going down. You'll see I've marked out with flags already where it's going. And if we look closer, you'll see what we call a sinkhole or a um, swallow hole with a large one just beyond here, which is taking quite a bit of water away, which then joins into the whole river system beneath the ground. I'm going to demonstrate to you how we do this with the rods it will give you an idea and if you visualize the water and picture it in your mind it makes it easier to douse I'll give you some demonstrations with the tools I use such as the V-rod the wand and the angle irons we'll start with the angle irons you walk away from the source of the problem at angle across away from it and then you turn in when the rods turn in like so we keep on walking now until we hit the source of the water There we go. We've got a reaction. That's the flow direction it takes. It's going that way. Coming from there. Now we'll walk through the salt itself. Rod them across each time I'm in the water. Now I'm out of it. Put the flag down. Continue to walk. Now we're in the next one of water beneath the ground. Just going that way. If we walk like this, we're going against the flow. This is a V rod. Hold the V-rod, like so, wait till it bobbles up and down. Now we walk, see if we're going against the flow. There we are. So we're going against the flow. So we walk against the flow. Each time I move against the flow, the V-rod comes towards me. If I'm going with the flow, the rod will go down, the V-rod will go down, like so. If I walk out of the source, this is what happens. Here's the source here. This is the edge. This is the other edge here. Following through across there. But if I walk out of it, set the V-rod up again, and then walk out, nothing happens. If I go back in, I'm on it again. So the water will be on the edge of where I am. And if you look that way, you'll see the rest of the sinkhole. And the blue flags represent where it is. If you go closer to it, you'll see the water moving down into the sinkhole. Yeah. In the water, follow the flow, keeps going down, like so. Now, 
if I go out of the flow, the V-rod will stop. When I hit the other source of water, the V-rod will work again. Set it up. Turn. Go out. Looking for water beneath the ground. And you'll see it's gone again. It's twisted again. To show you how it's twisted, the pressure of it. So we know there's another source here which joins into it. I will continue to walk that way showing where the, flow, the water sources are again. Using the V-rod. I want to walk against the flow coming from over there where the yellow flags are. Back into it again, another one here. If you want to determine the depth of it, there's several ways of doing it. One way is to face the flow, as I'm doing now, and then work out how deep it is by doing what they call a standing depth count. Like so, five feet or more, 10 feet, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 feet or more, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 feet. It's, it's down, the water top of the water is 26 feet below my feet. And yet, the sinkhole and swallow holes are here. So you can imagine, there's quite a drop down into the fracture zone and caves and tunnels underneath here. This is a wand. Some dowsers use a wand. This is a wand. Another gadget which a dowser uses to find water. Water on the end, same as the V-rod, because I'm a sample dowser. Let's put it to work. By the side of you, you think of water beneath the ground, it starts to move, you walk, and once you hit where the water is, it circles like so. While you're in the water, it continues to circle like so. Once you get out of the water, which is now, it starts to pull you back to where the yellow flag is. Now I'm in the water again. As I move out, that's what happens. So that indicates where the water is. If we continue to walk this way, um, it will stay dead until I come to water again. And it circles again. You can see the sinkhole. There's the water. Going down. Being lost. Ideal place for learning to douse. I'm going with the wand now to see where the edge of the water is, beneath the ground. When you get to the edge, the wand will change, as it's done now. We're going to determine the depth of the water now, beneath the ground. You set it like in motion, you find out which way the flow's moving. So we use the V-rod just to confirm which way the water's moving here. And straight away, you'll see it goes. And if you look at the sinkhole, you'll see that the water is moving towards me. <clears throat> we now pick up the wand. You don't have to use a wand, you can use the V-rod or the angle irons. But just to give you a demonstration, to find the depth of it here, beneath my feet, one foot or more, two feet, 
three feet, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, thirteen. Approximately thirteen feet to this source where I am. This, this is what we call standing depth count. If we use the bishop drill, which is what we're going to do now, we stick a flag in the ground, in the center, between the two flags, like so. We walk on the angle across away from it. The one will react when I get to the top of the water beneath the ground. So we'll see what he does. We've now got a reaction to the approximate depth of where the water is, the top of it. We then pick up the tape measure, go to the center, It's nine foot six inches. So there always is a variation between standing depth count and the bishop rule. When you think about it, it's nine foot six inches here, and the, the water's here. So there's a drop, even here, of several feet as it's going down. This will be made into a bigger sinkhole, given a few months or, or perhaps a year. It will increase. My name's Peter Taylor, I'm a, a professional dowser. I live in North Wales. This is Loggerheads um, in Flintshire, which is well known for its limestone areas and faults. Ideal place for dowsers to practice. This is my second video I'm doing now because um, the river has changed and this is why I've done this is so that you can see how the river progresses and deteriorates over through the summer. It is now the 16th of May and it was approximately three weeks ago when I did the first one which you'll see after this one. As you'll see the river now is dry at this end and then as we zoom back towards me you'll see where the water is now. This has happened in just, oh, just about three weeks of, this, of May. If we move forward, I'll explain about the sinkholes like I did before, but I'll, I'll do more detail in it for you. You'll see that the flags have changed now because the water courses have changed in the area. That's why it's an ideal place for practicing to learn to douse, to find water. On my second video, which is follows this, you'll see the flags are different. There's more of them and they're wider. The river was greater, so it was taking more water down them. These are sinkholes or swallowholes. People call them different things, but basically what happens is the water goes underground and is lost. If we move further forward, you'll see how it is now. And if, if you move across here, you'll see the flow of the water. And then what it does, it goes round where the blue flags are and it follows the course. 
ideal place for learning to douse. I am now going to show you how this works in a slow way and give you some of the secrets as well. When you're work, working for dowsing for water, to find it here, I wet my hands, which then increases the sensitivity of what I'm doing. The water on the V-rod, plastic V-rod, is just to re-enhance what I'm doing, what I'm thinking of. So that's why the water's on. And it's plastic so that I don't get any contamination of any other source apart from clean water. These are angle irons which we use. Again, the principle I use water on the end to reinforce. I am now going to wet my hands and go over that slowly just to show you how it's done. There we are. My hands are wet. That will increase the sensitivity of me. I shall use the V-rod. Like so. Can we walk this way now please? There we are, that's it. Now, you hold the V-rod like so, in your hands. You wait for it to Bob, bob up and down, so what you do is you start to think of water, like I'm doing now. You see, there it goes, bobbing, like as if it comes alive. Now I shall go forward. <laughs> 